What's going on guys and welcome back to another video with your boy Jordan, your online physique building coach. Now today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different as I sit here sipping on my pre-workout for my biceps and my triceps and my shoulders and my back training that I'm about to go do. I wanted to talk about the Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather fight because that's what's on like every bro's mind right now. If you're a bro, you're thinking, bro, who's going to win this fight? Well, I can't really tell you 100% like who's going to win, but here's what I'm predicting. So, bro, I'm predicting that Floyd Mayweather is going to absolutely demolish Conor McGregor because of one reason. Because Conor McGregor is an MMA fighter. That's what he does. He does MMA. So that's like a little bit of everything. That's mixed martial arts. That's ground game. That's kicking. That's boxing. Like that's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, right? He might be in really good shape. He might be really, really, really well conditioned. But he's going into the boxing ring and he's going to be fighting boxing style. So only boxing. He can't do any of his MMA stuff that he's good at. Floyd Mayweather, on the other hand, he is in his element. He is able to do his, ex his exact style. This is something that Floyd um, and Conor McGregor agreed to. Now, if they were to meet in an alleyway and just fight, I'm, I'm like 99% certain that Conor McGregor would just tear up Floyd Mayweather. Like, he would tear him apart. But in boxing, boxing is what Floyd Mayweather is good at. So think about it like this, guys. If you take a, a bodybuilder, right? Take a bodybuilder and take a powerlifter and you put them both in a powerlifting meet, same body weight, really similar, but one of them is a powerlifter, one of them is a bodybuilder. The powerlifter is going to outperform the bodybuilder because the powerlifter is more concerned on strength and the bodybuilder is kind of coming into his arena and change. like they have very similar styles. They're both lifters, but they lift for slightly different reasons. They have slightly different styles. This is the same way that I'm looking at the Conor McGregor and the Floyd Mayweather fight. So Floyd Mayweather, he's a boxer. He's been boxing. He's been training for boxing, conditioning for several years. He's really, really, really good at it. Conor McGregor, he's been training for MMA for several years, and he's really good at it. You're taking Conor out of his element, and you're putting him in a boxing arena. Now, he has been training to box with Floyd Mayweather because they're getting paid ridiculous amounts of money. They've been training. He's been training for this for a while, so he's he's going to be well trained. But at the same time, basically, Floyd Mayweather has just a better chance of winning. I'm not saying I love both of them. I would say between the two people, as people, I probably like Conor McGregor better. I think he's a funny guy. I think he's a character. I like his character. I like his little dances that he does. I think he's hilarious. Like he's just a he's just really interesting and entertaining to watch. But this is a fitness channel, right? So Jordan, you got to talk about fitness things. So, how does this relate to fitness? Here's how I'm going to relate this back to fitness. Here's how I'm going to do this. So, right, if you're a power lifter, if you are a power lifter, and you want to go and be a bodybuilder, just know that competing against bodybuilders, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. So, if you want to step into something new, just know that there's going to be a learning curve. Whenever you start something new, and maybe it's something similar to what you already do, it's gonna be a little different. You might get your, you might, you might get the crap beat out of you, but it's okay because you're learning. It's okay. If you're a bodybuilder and you want to, you want to get into powerlifting, just know that pound for pound, you're gonna be a lot weaker than these powerlifters because they train for powerlifting. You've been training for bodybuilding all this time. If you're a powerlifter or a bodybuilder and you go and try to get into CrossFit, just know that these CrossFitters are going to annihilate you. They're going to destroy you because they've been training for CrossFit for all this time. They've been training for powerlifting or bodybuilding. Just know that if you're a freaking powerlifter and you just decide to be a freaking Olympic lifter, that there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Yeah, it's very, very similar, but there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. I want you guys to understand that when you're trying something new or you're trying something that's a little different from what you're already doing but has some different tactics to it, some different things to learn, that there's going to be a learning curve. And you might get beat up a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. You still do it. You still go and you still fight. And people are still going to think it's awesome that you're trying different things, even though you, get, you might get beat. Hopefully you understand the kind of reference that I'm making. I wanted to make this video just so you guys could understand that you should try different things, but at the same time, know 
that it's going to be harder to like bounce around and try different things and just sticking to one thing. Me personally, um, I'm a bodybuilder and a powerlifter because as a natural bodybuilder, I just don't make enough progress every year just to be content with just natural bodybuilding. So I do natural bodybuilding and then I'm also focused on strength and power. So that I can look at both of these things as indicators that I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting bigger, my performance is going up. At the same time, I came from a bodybuilding background. So when I, when I was learning powerlifting, learning the techniques, um, learning how to program everything, it was a learning curve for me and I was really, really, really weak at first and I could not arch on the bench at first and I never deadlifted and I never went below parallel on squats and so I had to learn all these things and so there are a lot of people that maybe don't even have as much muscle as me, much smaller than me, that are much stronger than me because they have better technique. They've been doing that particular style of lifting for longer. So if we went to compete head to head in powerlifting, they would destroy me power for power. And I'm okay with that because if they went and tried to get into bodybuilding competing against me, I would destroy them. So you just gotta understand where your strengths are and know that if you're going against someone that could be better than you, that it's gonna be tough. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you literally just clicked on this video and you're not a subscriber, you clicked on this because of the title about Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor, then Hopefully you guys stick around for more fitness stuff. I'll see you guys next time. All love. Like if you enjoyed the video. Comment if you have any questions or concerns. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next video. Share this video if, if, you, if you liked it. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode and you're ready to take action, you are ready to take action on your fitness goals, go ahead and click the link below and join our fitness group. So this is a group for people that already have a little bit of a basis of how to lift weights. You, you know the form, you know how to execute the lifts, you have a basic knowledge on diet and micronutrients. You are someone that is known to get shit done and you are ready to get shit done right now. You are legitimately ready right now to change your life. This group is not for people that feel sorry for themselves. This group is not for people that sit around and waste time and procrastinate. This group is not for pessimistic people that they don't believe that they can accomplish things. This group is not for people that don't believe that anyone needs coaches, that groups are stupid, and that communities to help you move forward are dumb. Guys, if you want to join a group where everyone is holding each other accountable, everyone is helping each other move forward, we're just getting things done. Like, we're not procrastinating. We're going after all of our fitness goals right now. Seriously, guys, if you are ready to start taking action right now, then go ahead and click the first link in the description box below. Join in the group and let's get started. Like always guys, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment if you have any questions or concerns. I will be sure to answer all of your comments and subscribe to the channel for more if you're not already subscribed. All love. I'll see you guys next time.